even like P. Diddy. Um, I'm not going to speak bad about P. Diddy because um, he's still a black man. He, he, I mean, um, mistakes happen. And I can't say if it is or it's not a mistake, but things happen in life. And P. Diddy business is P. Diddy business. It's not my job or anyone else's job to go on the Internet and, and stump him and kick a man while he's down. Um, my take on it is it's not my business. Um, I don't think it's right at all. And I don't condone it. Even if that happened to my daughter, I would be hurt. But um, that's a choice that my daughter made. Yeah. So I don't want to kick nobody while, while they're down. I think the big thing, because I have girls too, is though. No boys? It, I have a boy too. Okay. Is one, if your son is in that position or your son is accused of those things that Diddy was accused of, like, I'm going to believe in my son and what he says, but I'm going to check him about that. I'm going to check him about whether or not these are things you've done. I'm also going to check him about being putting himself in those positions. And on the other side that we have to be very careful of, especially when talking about women, is that if those things are true, right, and some of the things are true, yes. that wasn't a decision they made, right? That, that's, that's something that was done to them. And I'm definitely, I wasn't in those rooms, so I can't cast aspersions on Diddy and say that he did it or he did do it or he's an evil man or he is. What I am saying is if those things happen to those women, not yes. only is it not right, it's also not their fault. Mm -hmm. We was like one month old last What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. It's icydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices in the world wide web. Before we get started, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And you just heard Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Money Mayweather, Commenting, he said that he is not going to speak on P. Diddy. He's still a black man. He's not going to pile on him when he's down. Um, my take on that is, I have two takes. One, I agree with Floyd Mayweather. Not uh, saying the fact that he agrees with what Diddy did, uh, did, and he made that clear. A lot of people are saying, oh, he's defending Diddy because he's an abuser himself. But he didn't defend Diddy. He said he's not going to speak on Diddy. That's not his business. And the other thing that I said that, that he said that I go along with is to a certain extent, those women made those choices. P. Diddy did not grab them, tie them up, and bring him to his place. Again, if he did that, then he's 100% responsible. But again, I say it with, with Cassie a thousand times. Did she, did, did, do I have any problem with Cassie suing uh, Diddy? No, I do not. But was she responsible? Did she have to take accountability for her part in it? Yes, because she said out of her own mouth, she left Diddy several times and she chose to go back. He didn't force her back. He didn't force her back. It doesn't matter how much he tries to influence her back. It was her own decision to keep going back to him. So, again, I agree with Floyd. You have to have some sort of accountability. I'm going to do a reaction to that video. You know, just check the channel for a reaction to that. But shout out to Money Mayweather. Moving on to Cardi B. Now, Offset... Stated, you know, you see Offset bopping to Cardi B, and he's saying, I mean, we can't hear the music, but he's saying, girl, go ahead, stop being scary and release this album. This shit go crazy. So it's obviously, as I stated to you before, Cardi B's album is done. It has nothing to do with Atlantic, putting it on, you know, putting it on the back burner or Atlantic shelving it. He's saying, stop being scared. Now, this is like the, remember, Cardi B said herself, she's scared to put her music out. I mean, we're getting ready to go into March. <laughs> Y'all got mad at me when I said, I don't think it's coming. 
She promised everybody during the top of the year that this album would come out. Where is it? Where is it? We haven't seen a single on one of these songs that she's uh, leaked. It seems like she's trying to give little snippets to see what people say. And then based on what they say, Lisa Allen, I, that's not going to work. Megan Thee Stallion didn't do that for his. Right? All she did was release visuals. You really didn't hear anything about his. And the song still went number one. Now, we know that other things surrounding that situation helped it go number one. But the record still went number one. So, I mean, I don't know. Cardi B, uh, my, to me, one of her biggest mistakes was putting that out there that she's scared to drop music. You shouldn't be scared to drop music. You should have enough uh you have you should have enough faith in your fan base, enough faith in your music, and those five number ones that you dropped before, that your music's gonna do well. All right? And I just continue to say, I love Cardi B's music. But if you're really not going to put music out, I prefer you do like Rihanna and just say, don't look forward to any new music no time soon. So that way you don't have people say, Cardi's coming, Cardi's coming every couple of weeks. So shout out to Cardi B. You heard what Offset said. Offset said it goes crazy. Put the album out. And we're going to close it out with Bobby Althoff and Ruby Rose. Now, Ruby Rose and Bobby Arthur, it was said that there was some leaks going on. There was a, a video leak of Ruby Rose. At the same time, there was a video, allegedly, of Bobby Arthur. Now, Bobby Arthur has since come out and said, Oh, sorry to disappoint you guys, but this is AI. But I don't think it's AI. <laughs> I don't think it's AI. You know, it leaked around the same time as the Ruby Rose one. And Ruby Rose is not saying that it's AI. She hasn't come out and said it's AI. I believe that Bobby Althoff saw that people saying this could be AI. And she decided to go with that. But I don't know if this is AI. You know, y'all, I can't show it here. But she's like masturbating in the, in the uh, video. You know... Looks looks like her to me, but again, you never can tell in, in the day of AI, but I think because Ruby Rose isn't saying it's AI, I think she saw people giving her, she giving that option and took that as an out, right? Now, of course, we'll never be able to prove if she's coming out and saying it's not real, I guess we'll never know whether it is or not. But just on based on my opinions, I believe it's real. Because she's back in the headlines. She also spoke on Drake for the first time since he unfollowed her and uh, stuff like that. And she basically said to uh, Kiki Palmer that, her, that she spoke to Drake a, a few weeks ago. And she said that, you know... Um, they, uh, Kiki Palmer asked her, why did Drake unfollow you? And she said, oh, I guess we'll never know why. So, obviously, whatever that is, they're, they're patched up. They patched it up. Remember, she removed all of the Drake videos and pictures. And she said, um, you'll never know why. So, I guess they're back on good terms. She said she pretty much owes the projector of her career to Drake. So, in other words, she could never really fall out with him completely because she owns she owes a trajectory of her career to that interview. So, but Bobby, I think that's real. I believe Ruby Rose is real as well. Um, speaking of Ruby Rose, we're gonna do a new thing, and she's gonna be our first uh, edition of it. Who you take for wife or one night? And today we're going to have Ruby Rose versus Oh So, oh, so You Jade. Speaking of Oh So You Jade, 
And do you think that Annuel, I believe this is my advice to Annuel, who 6'9 is now running around with his baby, with Annuel's ex-girlfriend and baby mama, uh, Yaelene. My suggestion to Annuel is you should go get oh so you Jay. I believe you should get her. She looks better than she looks better than than Jaylene. And boy, would that piss six nine off and a piss Jaylene off. Go back and get oh so you Jay, who's six nine's ex girlfriend. Do y'all think he should do that? Annuel should do it, even if he's not dated. That's an old school. That's old school. Get back. That's what 50 Cent and Rick Ross are doing to each other. You go back and get their ex-girlfriends, and I would, I would take her on shopping spree. I would take her on a shopping spree, buy her a whip, buy her a Birkin bag. I'm telling you, he got more money than 6 9 6 9 can act like he got more money than Annuel. He doesn't. I'm telling you, man. Annuel needs to go, go get oh so you jade. And put her in his next video as his love interest. On top of that, 6 9 and his ex-girl, they're, they're in the fighting and getting arrested every other week. Beating each other up, calling the police on each other. So Annuel be the perfect time for him to go snatch up oh so you Jade. If y'all think that's a good idea, <laughs> let me know down in the comments. I think he should do it. I'm going to hit Annuel up and tell him he needs to do that. So who y'all taking? Ruby Rose or Oh So You Jade? Who, if, if it's these two, who you wifing and who you one nighting? Uh, me personally, I'm taking Oh So You Jade to wife and I'm taking Ruby Rose for one night and, and I'll explain to you why. That whole entire time that 6 9 was locked up, Oh, so you Jade held him down. She could have easily, she had ample opportunities to go to some of these other rappers. We all know that there was a whole lot of rappers trying to hit her up and get at her just to spite 6 9 But she never, you never have anyone come out and say, oh yeah, oh, so you Jade was seen with so-and-so. After the whole thing went offset, and then she got, she even put offset on blast when he allegedly DM'd her and said, I miss you. She even put that on blast, right? So, and, and Ruby Rose, you know, she's been linked to so many different guys, right? Ruby Rose has been linked to a whole bunch of different guys. And also you, Jay, regardless of whether you say, oh, she's a bartender, oh, she's an IG model, she's this, she has not really been linked to anyone else other than 6 9 there's been rumors and stuff like that. Oh, this happened. But she has not been publicly linked to anyone else other than 6 9 And when she was with 6 9 she didn't branch out and go sleep with Drake or go sleep with one of his ops. That has more money than 6 9 There's a lot of rappers out there that wanted to get with Jade that got way more money than 6 9 And she never wavered. So to me, out of those two, I'm taking her as the wife. And Ruby Rose, I'm taking as the one night. She is absolutely stunning. But Jade is stunning too. But Ruby Rose just, ooh. I think she'd be the one nighter, but I'm taking Jade as the wife. Y'all let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree. Who you one nighting, who you wifing. And let me know what you agree, whether you agree or disagree on all the other topics. Sound off in the comments. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network.